Halloween has always been a night filled with mystery and fear. A time when the boundary between the living and the dead is said to blur, allowing spirits and dark entities to cross into our world. But the real horror often lies in the myths and legends passed down over generations. Stories designed to scare, but sometimes they seem a little too real. In this video, we'll dive into six of the most disturbing Halloween myths and legends that have haunted people for centuries. Some are rooted in ancient traditions, while others have morphed into urban legends that continue to terrify. Whether you believe them or not, these stories will make you think twice before dismissing them as just tales. Before pumpkins, there was Stingy Jack. According to Irish legend, Stingy Jack was a deceitful drunk who managed to trick the devil himself. One night, Jack invited the devil to have a drink with him. True to his name, Jack didn't want to pay for the drinks, so he convinced the devil to turn into a coin and settle the tab. But instead of paying, Jack kept the coin and placed it next to a silver cross, preventing the devil from changing back. Eventually, Jack let the devil go, but only after making him promise not to take his soul. When Jack finally died, his evil deeds barred him from heaven and true to his word, the devil refused to let him into hell. Instead, Jack was condemned to wander the earth at forever, with only a carved out turnip and a burning coal to light his way. The wandering soul became known as Jack of the Lantern, or as we know him today, the Jack-o-Lantern. What's so chilling about the story of Stingy Jack is the idea of eternal wandering, a fate worse than death. Imagine never finding rest, cursed to roam the earth forever in darkness. While we carve out pumpkins today as a fun Halloween tradition, it's easy to forget that it's rooted in a story of trickery and eternal damnation. Every flickering jack-o'-lantern could represent a soul condemned to wander forever. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Many of us have heard of the tale of Bloody Mary. A ghostly figure said to appear if you chant her name three times in front of a mirror, usually in a dimly lit room or by candlelight. According to this legend, Mary will either reveal your future, particularly who you'll marry, or in a more sinister version, she'll appear covered in blood and scratch your eyes out. But where did this terrifying myth originate? Some say it's linked to Queen Mary I of England, also known as Bloody Mary for her per violent persecution of the Protestants. Others believe it's connected to an old Victorian tradition of young women using mirrors on Halloween night to glimpse into their future husbands. Somewhere along the way, the harmless ritual turned dark, transforming into the frightening legend we know today. Bloody Mary is one of those legends that persists because it preys on a very basic fear, the fear of our own reflection and what might be lurking behind it. Mirrors have long been seen as portals to other worlds, and the idea that a simple chant can summon something from the other side taps into our deepest anxieties. Whether you believe in her or not, there's a reason so many people are hesitant to test the myth for themselves. One of the newer urban legends to emerge in the late 20th century is the chilling story of the black-eyed children. According to the reports, these children, usually aged between 6 and 16, show up at people's doors late at night, asking to be let in. They seem normal at first glance, but their eyes, their eyes are pitch black, void of any whites. Witnesses describe feeling an overwhelming sense of dread and fear in their presence. What's especially disturbing is the pattern in, in these encounters. The children are persistent, almost robotic in their requests to enter your home or car. And once you realize something's off, it's often too late to escape the terror. While many believe this is to just be another Halloween urban legend, the sheer number of reports from all over the world makes you wonder if something more sinister is at play. Are they ghosts, demons, or even something darker? What makes the black-eyed children so terrifying is the way they prey on our natural instinct to help children. We're wired to feel compassion when a child asks for help, but in this case, that's exactly what leads to horror. 
Its manipulation of our empathy, and the fact that so many people have reported similar encounters adds an extra layer of fear to this unsettling legend. The story of the Witch's Moon is one that has haunted villages across Europe for centuries. It's said that every hundred years on Halloween night, the full moon glows with an eerie light signaling that the boundary between the world of the living and the dead is at its weakest. During this time, witches, who were once wrongfully executed, are said to rise from their graves to seek vengeance on the descendants of those who wronged them. According to legend, anyone who sees the witch's moon must stay indoors and protect themselves with salt and iron, for those witches can only be repelled by these ancient methods. Those who failed to heed the warning risk being cursed, forever haunted by the spirits of eventual witches. While it may sound like folklore, there are stories from small villages that claim to have experienced strange happenings during the witch's moon. Animals acting erratically, strange figures seen in the distance, and people disappearing without a trace. The idea of the witch's moon is rooted in ancient fears of witches and their power, but what's even scarier is how these legends have persisted. There's always a grain of truth in old myths, and while we may not fear witches in the same way our ancestors did, the fear of the unknown, the fear of dark forces beyond our control, remains just as potent. The Bell Witch is one of America's most famous haunted legends, and while her story predates Halloween, it becomes synonymous with the spooky season. The legend dates back to the early 19th century Tennessee, where the Bell family was tormented by an invisible entity. The spirit, believed to be the ghost of Kate Batts, a local woman wronged by the Bell family, wreaked havoc on their farm for years, moving objects, slapping family members, and speaking in an eerie, disembodied voice. As Halloween grew in popularity in America, the story of the Bell Witch became a staple of Halloween ghost stories. People believed that on Halloween night, the witch's power was at its strongest, and if you visit the Bell family's old property, you could still hear her voice on the wind. Some even claimed to have seen the witch herself wandering the grounds in search of revenge. What makes the Bell witch legend so unsettling is the personal nature of the haunting. This wasn't just a random ghost terrorizing a house. It was a vengeful spirit, and clear with a tar clear target. The fact that the Bell's family haunting lasted for years with so many witnesses to the strange events lends a sense of credibility to the legend that makes it stand out. It's not just a ghost story, it's a story of vengeance and torment, and that's what makes it so terrifying. While Halloween is now a holiday filled with costumes and candy, its origins are rooted in much darker traditions. The festival of Samhain, celebrated by the ancient Celts, was, time, was a time when they believed the veil between the living and the dead was its thinnest. To protect themselves from wandering spirits, people would light bonfires, wear costumes to disguise themselves, and leave offerings for the dead. As Christianity spread, the pagan festival was eventually merged with All Saints Day, or All Hallows Day, giving us what we now know as Halloween, or All Hallows Eve. But even though the modern holiday is full of fun and games, the original purpose was to ward off evil spirits. Many believe that even today, Halloween remains a night when the supernatural forces that roam the earth as are stronger and the ghosts of the dead are closer than ever. What's fascinating about Halloween's origins is how they reveal our deep rooted fear of the dead. Samhain wasn't just a celebration, it was a survival mechanism. People genuinely believed that on this night, they had to protect themselves from the spirits that roamed the earth. And while we may have traded bonfires for trick-or-treating, there's still a part of Halloween that feels like we're honoring those ancient fears. Halloween is a night of mystery and fear, and these myths and legends remind us that even the traditions we take for granted often have dark, disturbing origins. Whether it's the vengeful spirits of witches, haunted mirrors, or cursed pumpkins, these stories tap into something primal, our fear of the unknown, of forces we can't control. While many of these legends are likely just that, 
stories, it's worth remembering that sometimes, behind every myth, there's a sliver of truth. So, as you head out this Halloween, maybe keep an eye on the full moon, avoid mirrors after dark, and when you carve your jack-o'-lantern, remember Stingy Jack, for some legends never truly die. If these myths gave you chills, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on more creepy tales from the shadows. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you have any disturbing Halloween myths from your own town or culture? Let me know, and have a safe Halloween.